hey YouTube, what is going on? This is Red Sox Fan, and I am back again with Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 10, and we are here standing in front of the Darnassus Bank, and we are opening up this episode with another mail time with Tylord, the Night Elf Warrior. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Look at all this mail. Thank you, uh, Aliona, for, oh, my gosh. Five healing potions. We got some copper ores, some wool cloth. I mean, this this is absolutely fantastic. I should probably be deleting these uh, quickly as I open them up. Uh, not reply. Delete. Okay. Um, so we have a bunch of linen and wool cloth now uh, off screen. I will definitely go ahead and train up my leather working because or er, my <laughs> leather working my first aid. Because look at this, I can make 20. That will put me definitely within reach of training up into, well, what would it be? Not journeyman. Yeah, maybe journeyman. I, I can't remember what the uh, the first profession level jump is. I think it's like apprentice into journeyman, into master, into expert, something like that. So we got, he also sent us grunts, hand wraps of the bear, plus three stamina and strength requires level 16 but that is indeed very useful a th level 13 back with plus three stam thank you thank you scrolls of strength some more strong strong troll trolls blood potion this time re uh, <coughs> excuse me regenerates six health every five seconds instead of two that's very nice some lesser healing potions those we can definitely use within our level range some copper ores more wool cloth even more wool cloth some junk <laughs> uh, elixir of defense. Hey, you know what? It's better than nothing. I will definitely be using that. Um, some more healing potions. Even more healing potions. This guy. Thank you. Oh, my inventory is full. Darn, would you look at that. Um, okay, give me one second because I think... Was that what was that it? Was that the last of it? Do I have... What's in my bank here? Let me, let me see. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff. So I will go ahead and put some more... I guess I'll put those letters back in there. Really, really quickly, um, just some more letters I've saved from from fan mail, uh, so I can delete that. I guess some night elves need a bit. Yeah, I'll delete that. Mysterious gift. Thank you. And then alcohol. All right, I can delete those. So we have a bunch of healing potions. Look at this. Look at this. Let me put these in, up here on the on the little action bar here. We got six healing potions. We can't use those yet. One more level, and then we can. And then we have. 11 lesser heal healing potions, so we should not be dying ever. I'll, I'll put these up here. Um, I guess we can get rid of the minor ones. So we should not be dying ever again <laughs> in this Let's Play just because of how much healing potions I have. So, yeah, thank you, Aliona. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, he's in my friends list. No one's online. If you guys log in and add me and I am online, definitely shoot me a PM uh, whenever you feel like it. I might be recording. I might not be recording. It doesn't bother me if you hit me up while I am recording because um, it won't pop. It might pop up, um, but for the most part, I have uh, what is this? W I M is I think it stands for like Wow Instant Messaging or something. It's an add-on for private messaging, and it does have. Let me see. Whoops. Let me see here. It does have a little uh, alert noise, like a notification noise. Whenever I do get messages, and if they don't pop up on screen immediately. So that's it for the mail time. Uh, this episode, I think I'm just going to be trying to complete the final rest of the quests that I have left over in Teldrassil before I make my way over to Aberdeen and Darkshore. So I have two for now. I think there's one more I can pick up. Let me see. South of Lake Almeth. Uh, Southwest-ish. In this area that I haven't discovered yet. And I actually think this is where Oakenskal is. But we will see. And the other quest is the rel uh, Relics of Awakening, or Awakening, not Awakening. And that is to be completed in the uh, Banathil Borrow Den. So I'm going to cut away now, and I'll meet you guys. I'll probably go explore this area before I head over to the uh, Borrow Den. So I will see you guys down there. Alrighty, guys. So we are down here in southwestern-ish Teljasil, and we are near the strange fruited plant. Oh, there it goes. The Gnarl Pine Hold is where we are. We just discovered that, so it should show up on the map. Uh, so just like up north of the Oracle Glade was the strange 
palm frond or whatever. This is the strange fruited plant in South Teljasil, and it starts a quest, the glowing fruit. I believe we, yes, we definitely want to go ahead and turn this into our good friend Billy D <laughs> down in Lake Olmeth, so we can go ahead and accept that. And we pick up the, where is it, the strain, or the glowing fruit, I should say. There it is. It's, an, it's a green apple. It's a Granny Smith. Granny Smiths are absolutely delicious. So, down here we got some Gnarl Pine Avengers. We got some, what, what else do we got here? Pathfinders, Avengers, another Avenger. I don't know what's over here. Maybe something good? I don't know. I'm still in combat, so that was a mistake on my part. I shouldn't have... I was trying to help out that, that hunter there. And it looks like that dude probably needs a little more help by the looks of it. I don't know. Dwarf Supreme. I think I think he can take him out, but just in case, let's go ahead and help him out here. So he doesn't die. Just so I'm a nice person. I d won't have that weighing on my conscience. Con conscious. No, yeah, conscience. Oh, okay, so we're just going to group up here. Let's see what's down here. I don't know if there's any quests down here or not. Um, let me see if you can share. Ursul. This might be a follow-up quest to the Relics of Awakening. I'm going to go ahead and ask him here. Um, so it says it's not, uh, <clears throat> eligible, so, alright, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave, um, <laughs> uh, good lucks, yeah, sorry, that was a typo on my part, so, yeah, uh, apparently there is a follow-up quest called Ursul or something of the likes that is to complete, do, to be completed down here in the Gnarl Pine Hold, but in the meantime, I cannot complete, I cannot even, you can't share it with me because I can't complete it because I haven't completed the Relics of Awakening yet, so let's go ahead and go and complete that quest. It is just right here in the Banathil Borrow Den, so I'm going to cut away and I'll meet you guys over there. All right, everybody, I am back, but as it turns out, I did not go down to the Banathil Borrowed Inn, and that's turning out to be sort of, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, want me to root the non-elite one? Yeah, sure. Uh, but along the way, someone asked, it, someone asked in the chat if, <clears throat> they, uh, if anyone could help out doing... Uh, the Oaken Skull quest, or if they wanted to do the Oaken Skull quest, quest, and I said yeah, sure, because uh, I need to do it. And uh, there's level nine druid. I'm a level eleven warrior. I think it should be easy enough. Maybe would maybe we can two man it. I'm not sure. If uh, they're healing, I have some some healing pots. We will see. Uh, I do have scroll of strength. Just pop a whatever that is, pop that, uh, battle shout, um, and I do have sprouted frond, I don't know if, if you can actually, can you use it on yourself, heal your target for 71 to 75, maybe, alright, so sec, she probably has to heal up, um, I do have explosive rockets, so we are going to do this, no drinks, okay, that's fine, uh, before though, I'm gonna get a little wasted, ooh, a little tipsy, drinking my bottles of Pinot Noir, alright, so we're going with the she's gonna root that guy then I'll run in there get him like that hey dude get back here use my rockets ah, I think we got this I think I think we'll be okay uh, she's healing me so we should be good just nuke him down with some heroic strikes and we'll be fine. We'll be good to go. G2G, baby. <clears throat> yeah, we got this. That was pretty easy. Um, not too difficult. 
Uh, the one thing, so I'm not talking much, I'm trying to pay attention to, um, to this fight. Um, but... There we go, Gargantuan Tumor, she got it too. The one thing you have to look out for... Oh, Corpse of Natural Angel, sorry about that, Natural Angel. Um, looks like you died for, for no good reason. There's nothing in here, so it's just an empty cave. <clears throat> the one thing you have to look out for is Oaken Scowl. It isn't level 9 elite. It doesn't hit too hard, but it does spawn with a another level 9, uh, just a regular mob uh, in the cave. Oh, I, w I was going to say take care, but never mind. Um, yeah, so doesn't hit too hard. It helps if you have a tank and, I guess, a healer slash DPS, because she was healing me up with uh, rejuvenations and stuff, such spells like that. So yeah, that's basically, that's Oaken Scowl. When we turn it in, we'll get um, some male hands that are a little bit of an upgrade over what we have originally. But now, this time for reals, guys, uh, I'm going to be cutting away. And this time, I'll see you guys over at the um, Banathil Hollow. Alrighty, guys, so we are here in front of the Banathil Borrow Den. Let's see, who do I want to attack first? Try and aggro this guy. Alright. Yeah, ignore the shaman for now. But we are here. <clears throat> Stop running away, dude. Can't tank if you're. Alright, there we go. I'll invite you as well. Why not? So we're just uh, grouping up. Gonna do the Relic's Awakening. Guess I can get this guy too. Why not? They don't want to aggro on me though. So, WTF, mate. Dead. Dead. They're all dead. Haha, <laughs> good. Okay, so this is the entrance. We are in Banathil Ho Hollow, technically, but this is the entrance. If you guys want to do the quest, the Relic's Awakening, let's just charge in here. Why are they... Why is it not generating any... Any aggro? Alright, so the shamans, you want to look out for because they can heal and they run away and probably cast Lightning Bolt. I haven't seen that yet. But other than that, uh, not too much to it. Pretty easy fight. Let's just run down here. There's another shaman. Target's not in line of sight. Now he is, but he's too far away. For, or he's too close, I should say, for my charge. So let's get in here. Uh, stack some hamstrings on him, but that did not stack. Don't know why. Alright, there's a defender. I'm still in combat. Okay, there we go. Well, no, I'm not in combat, but I can't charge him. So yeah, we got, uh, let's see, Alan W. and Whisper in this party. They, whoops, they ran up right as I was about to enter, or as I was clearing out the area of these annoying gnarled pines. Now, I am a bit over-leveled, I guess, for this quest at the moment. It doesn't say so in my quest log, but all these mobs are 7, 8, maybe a few 9s eventually, but so far just 7s and 8s, and you know, that's not much of a challenge. So let's go ahead and hamstring this one for sure, just so when he tries to run away, he will be too slow. <laughs> oh, ultimate master Roos Roosman. Okay, so here's another shaman. This place can get a little complicated, but I think for the most part it's the same layout as some of the other dungeon type area places, so it shouldn't be too bad. You just have to watch out for um, over aggroing for sure. Chain aggroing is certainly something to look out for down here. Especially because these guys, since they're humanoids, they like to run away in fear. Uh, I guess you could say humans are pretty... Uh, what's the word? Uh, they're pussies, <laughs> is the word. Um, yeah. Oh, scroll spirit. I guess I can... Um, I guess I can use that. Pa -pa, plus three spirit. Motherfucker. Okay, so she's going to get it. I, th I don't know how long the respawn time is. I would assume not long. It should pop up real quick right afterwards. But basically, you're going to go into all these rooms, find all the different relics, loot them, and then we are G2G, 
good to go. So she tries to aggro that dude. While he's running up there, I will charge at him. He's gonna get double healed. That's for sure. Ah, let's just kill this guy while we can. While we can. Okay. Oh, leaving combat. All right, I'll just wait a few seconds and then charge in there. Papa. All right. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Um, so that hasn't <laughs> respawned yet. So that is lame. We're gonna have to wait a while for that one. In the meantime, we are going to be getting a shitload of experience killing all these annoying ass mobs. But that's okay. Oh, I missed. Why did I miss? I'm gonna get this one for sure though. Ha ha ha! Yeah, son! Chest of the Black Feather. Oof, here I come. Alright, so we got the Black Feather Quill. That's one of them. The, one, the other one in the room, obviously, it has to be either the Ravenclaw Talisman, the Sapphire Sky, or the Rune of Nesting. So let's see. This dude's getting a little low on health. Where'd he go? Oh, in there. I guess I can heal him. Would be, would be a polite thing to do. All right, there you go. You're basically at 100% health. So let's run back over here. Uh, all the bodies are decomposing and disappearing, so that means in a few minutes they're probably going to respawn. Oh, this chest of nesting has respawned, so I'll go ahead and grab that while I'm at it. So it's not too bad. Maybe about a minute or two. Yeah. Uh, this guy has already respawned. The shaman and the defender, so let's go ahead and kill these guys while I'm at it. Hopefully... Oh my lord, I'm gonna die if I move. As soon as this guy starts to run away. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> That's okay though. Uh, I think I can take care of these guys on my own. As long as I just don't interrupt my casting time, these sons of bitches. Alright. Luckily, I have my healing potions. I'll pop one now. No, kill him. Yes, good. Okay, yeah. So with a healing potion, I can successfully kill three of these mobs at once. That is comforting knowledge. Knowledge. If you guys don't know that, it's from Ty Lopez, here in my garage guy on YouTube. Master salesman of, I don't know, I don't even know what he's selling. Like his, his book or something? Uh, we got a flanged mace here. I guess I can jump down. Jump jump down. I guess I can't jump down there. <laughs> Alright, I'll run down. I'll charge in at this dude. Hit him up with one of my BAM heroic strikes because I am full of valor and heroism. Pop my battle shout. No, kill him quick! Kill him quick! Kill him! Aw, oh, you idiots! Why didn't you kill him? That's okay. We got this. These, uh, these hunters are not pulling their weight DPS wise man I don't know I don't know what to say alright so we got another shiny apple we have a bunch of shiny red apples I don't know what it is but these gnarl pines sure like their apples get the shaman rogue strike them hit up that hamstring baby I missed I think didn't hit him alright that's okay uh, okay just wait for my charge to cool down. Hit him up on the hammy. No! Hit the hammy! Yeah, there we go. There's the hammy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. I've, I, I've, maybe defensive stance would be would be nice, but I think that minus 10% damage, I think I'd rather have the 10% damage than, um, than the 10% damage reduction. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess I can loot this guy. Get some more linen cloth there. So we have two out of the... I missed. Damn it. Why'd you miss? Okay, I have two out of the... What? BS, man. Just spawning on me like that. Damn shaman. Okay. Two out of the four relics is what I'm trying to get at. So I'm not going to be a dick. I'm not going to try and steal them. But once I get all four, I will help uh, my other party members get theirs just because I'm a good guy like that. 
So let's go ahead and run up here and see what we have going on up here. So now, this is a new mob, in Gnarlpine Augur. I don't know what that is in Augur. But he casts Curse of Weakness, physical damage done, reduced by three. What do I, wait, I have something here. Yeah, Fury of the Boggling. Get on my level, son. Escort quest. Escort quest. I don't meet the requirements for that quest. Why the heck not? Bring a shaman voodoo charm? That's weird. The sleeping druid. I we, we can take care of these guys, right? Get on my level. Yes. Get on my tanking level, son. I don't meet the requirements. Uh, I think there's some prereq. I don't know. I, I have to, um, let's see. The sleeping druid. I have to do this one first. Okay. Bring a shaman voodoo charm to Oban. Okay, so I have to kill a shaman and bring him the voodoo charm. So let's go ahead and do that first. There are tons of shamans. That's for sure. Okay. That was not a shaman. This is a shaman. Yes, this is a shaman. This is definitely a shaman. Okay, let's go ahead and charge on this dude. Kill him real quick. Man, there are a lot of mobs down here. I've just, uh, I guess I just started to realize. There we go. Got the shaman voodoo charm. I guess we can just make our way and then come back and do that quest on the way back up. I, I, uh, I, I, I assume, suppose, I guess, I guesstimate, I estimate, I mean, synonyms, you know, synonyms for sure, a little lag there, ooh, green paw, we got a guy green paw here, is that, should we, is that dude part of a quest, or, I don't know, let's, let's go, let's go do that quest first, maybe the, maybe the, this is part of the, part of a quest or something, I don't know. A quest mob. I'm gonna ask these guys because I honestly don't know. Uh, it didn't say he was rare. It didn't say he was elite. It just says green paw. So uh, I'm gonna turn this quest in real quick and see what the heck is going on. Thank you. Obtain rage claw once you kill a soulless body and then use his voodoo charm. Okay. Druid of the Claw, huh? Okay. So we have to go kill his soulless... His his spirit body? His 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 body is being... Um, possessed? Wow! I'm gonna need that for sure. Sweet! Man, that is a nice shield. Plus one agi and plus one stam of... Er, yeah, stam and agi. Plus, look at that, 207 armor. Yeah, boy. What it do, baby boo? All right, so let's, um... <laughs> All right, so infantry shield of the monkey. That's a nice drop for me, for sure. I'm in combat, so I cannot charge. That was annoying. Now I'm entering combat. Okay, now I'm leaving combat again. All right, so deeper into the din we venture. Let's see what's down here. Gnarl Pine Defender. All right, let's go up here because it looks like there's something up here. Yes, no. There's a shaman. Let's kill this shaman. Entering combat. We are just now entering combat. Now we're just leaving combat. What's th what's going on down here? Whoa, rage claw, dude. Whoa, dude. You do not want to. Are you kidding me? All right, we got this. We got this. We got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stop running away, dude. Let me get him. Lord. Good Lord. Alright, so... Oh, we are not gonna die. We are not going to die. We killed that dude for no reason. But that's okay. Fraps is lagging a bit. That's okay. Because... I'm not in combat anymore, so those guys have not aggroed me. I guess we shouldn't have killed him, because now we're just going to have to wait for him to respawn in the first place. 
or in the second place. Um, let me pause it really quick, uh, this video. Let me cut away and then cut back because Fraps is, is lagging a bit. Okay, uh, that should be a bit better. The thing that annoys me, holy shit. So these guys apparently can enrage, and that is a little scary. I guess I should probably invite this dude. All right, already in a group. And he's, now he's just trying to he's just trying to get our kills. So, you know, fuck out here, dog. Quit for what? Leave your shit ass group and join our wicked awesome group. Bam! Get that thunderclap in there. Who said? Who said thunderclap sucks? Actually, I did, because it it does improved thunderclap does suck for tanking. It's useful, especially when you're generating all that rage. But for the most part, it sucks. Um, the talent, not the actual move. Dang, son, we are just blowing through this. Let's go. Let's go. I guess I can try and invite him. Already in a group. Man, now this guy's bringing all these fucking mobs up in here. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not stressing about that group. I'm just gonna ignore them and do my thing. Is there something in here? I don't see anything in here. I'm gonna try and get aggro on this guy. Stop running. Fraps. Stop. There. Okay. Better. All right. Let's kill these guys. All right. Let's run in here. See what the fuck's going on. Alright. Should be good. Uh, these dudes are level 9, actually, so that's why I'm almost dying. <laughs> but that's okay, uh, because I have a bunch of potions. So let me just go ahead and pop one now. And we got the Ravenclaw Talisman. Alright, so I'm going to get this one. And then we can respawn, wait for it to respawn a bit. Whoa, where are you, who are you attacking, dude? Going over there attacking that guy? Alright, cool. I guess I'll go kill that dude. I might just cut away, um, because you have seen me basically gather. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this dude is fast. Dude, this dude's booking it. Um, you've already seen most of where all these talismans are. So we're just going to be waiting around for them to respawn. So I'm going to cut away, and I'll cut back when there is some action going on inside the den. So be right back. Oh, man, I apologize, guys. I was not checking out my experience bar. And right when I killed that guy, I tried to turn on my recording, but I did reach level 12. Uh, I dinged after that last Gnarlpine Augur kill. So I uh, reached level 12, guy, uh, gained nine hit points as opposed to minus one of last level plus one strength plus one agi plus one stam uh grats thank you uh, let's go ahead and charge in here too close there we go there we go perfect charge perfect charge let's go ahead and put our last point into improved heroic strike and now we got that three out of three um did you all get the relic Target not in line of sight, because there's probably no good path for it. Let's go ahead and do this. Blood Rage up. Okay, so let's move along here at a nice pace. Uh, so now these level 9s are actually, since I leveled up, these level 9s are pretty good. There's Rage Claw! Oh my lord! What is going on? I cannot tank all these guys. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? What, what am I talking about? <clears throat> I am the master tanks. But Fraps is saying, nah, man. You ain't shit. Uh, so Fraps is trying to put me in check. But that's okay. I, I got this. I got this. So we killed whatever that dude's name is. Whoa. Dude, you're getting low. All right. I guess I can heal you up. Fuck. Why would you do this? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. I don't know why she's trying to aggro every fucking gnarl pine in the room, but we got this. 
I have enough heals. Actually, no, my, my potions were on cooldown, so that would have sucked if I died. How about we take it nice and easy? You're fucking level 7, alright, bruh? <laughs> I mean, jeez, calm down. Alright, so we killed Rageclaw. Uh, do we have to loot his body? Yes? No? Do we have some sort of quest item to voodoo charm, use on the fallen body of Rageclaw? Alright, let's go ahead and do this before he uh, respawns really quickly. It's a 10 second cast, so once you kill Rageclaw, you have to use the voodoo charm on his body before he disappears. And boom! We did just so do that in enough time. Whisper, what are you doing? Stop aggroing everybody! You're gonna die, and we can't heal you, we can't resurrect you. I mean, I don't know what your problem is. Hey, Warrior's Tunic, I already have one of those, so I'll just greed, greed for now. Um, you, let's go get it. Let's get it then. Alright. Fucking these guys are annoying as shit. Holy crap. Okay. Um, again, I'm gonna cut away. Uh, so you guys saw me do the Druid of the Claw quest. Um, we freed Rage Claw's body from spirit from the body using the Voodoo Charm. Uh, I already have three out of the four relics, so we're just gonna now go back and get the relic. Oh, now those guys are up there trying to get it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to cut away. I will cut back when um, something significant is happening. Alrighty, guys. So I appear to have died once and my party members twice at least. So let's go ahead and turn this quest, Drew to the Claw, because they're still dead. They're running back um, back to their bodies, I guess, somewhere. Um, so I am finally free of the control of the Gnarl Pine. Thank you, Ty Lord. My spirit may now rest peacefully forever in the Emerald Dream. Perhaps one day we may, me we may meet again, young warrior, but for now... Please accept this reward as a symbol of my gratitude. So we get a one-handed sword. Woo! Plus one stam and 5.3 DPS. That is good enough for me. That is a mighty fine sword. The brushwood blade. Let's go ahead and equip that right now. A little slower than my other sword. But plus one stam and more damage is mighty fine. Uh, so it looks like they've respawned. But apparently their unit frames are a little... A little messed up there. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go ahead and uh, help them out because it looks like they are in need of assistance. So once again, I'm going to cut away now and I will uh, cut back when something of importance is happening. Right, let's do this. Alright, so we are back here um, where we were at one point before, but that's when I said, eh, I don't think green paws worth the trouble of killing but it turns out the chest of the sky is in this exact room so we definitely do need to kill her a green paw and um and then we can go ahead oh i'm still in combat and then we can go ahead and loot the chest of the sky so i'm going to do that right now because fuck these other bitches i'm getting this chest okay so this is the last one last one then one more down before. Below us to our above us. Okay, uh, so that's it for this quest. Uh, I'm going to stick around with these guys and help them out because, you know, they're level 9, level 7. They need a little help from a level 12. Ooh, yeah, I'm so strong. Uh, but when I cut back, I will meet you guys at one of the numerous quest givers uh, around Dolinar where I can turn in these three final quests of this zone. So I will be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back here in Dolinar. Let's go ahead and talk to Arthritis Bear Mantle and turn in the four relics, the Raven Claw, Claw Talisman, the Black Feather Quill, the Rune of Nesting, and the Sapphire of Sky. Turn those in, and we can go ahead and pick up the Bark Male Leggings, which I like over that staff, definitely more so than the staff. Now, there is a follow-up quest to that, which I was made aware of through that hunter over in the Gnarl Pine Hold called Ursul the Mauler. 
Now the time has come to save the druids of the Talon. If we fail now, Ty Lord, they will never they will be forever lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics awakening and perform the ritual for my late work. Blah blah blah. Ursul the Mauler meddled with our brethren's calling, and uh it is now Ursul who must pay so they can be freed. So travel and slay him. And we can get a mace that is plus one stamp, just like the sword I have. It is faster, uh, and it does deal more DPS. So let's go ahead and pick up this quest. And now I'm going to cut away, and I will meet you guys down uh, with our good friend um, Big D and the kids' table, uh, Dinalan, uh, near Lake Almeth. But first, before I do that, uh, we did hit level 12, so let's go ahead and talk to our warrior trainer. I totally forgot to do that up until now, uh, and train up our new ranks. So we actually did get a new ability, Overpower. Uh, instantly overpower the enemy, causing weapon damage plus 5, only usable after the target dodges. The overpower cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried, but it, you can miss with it, which is pretty annoying when that happens. So we get uh, Battle Shout. Battle Shout rank 2, and we get Shield Bash. Um, so our first okay. shield-based attack, uh, and I believe, is it defensive stance only? Oh, you can use it in battle or defensive stance. So let's go ahead and put that on the bar, get overpowered up here, and then what's this? What did we learn up here? Not quickness. Um, I don't know. We already had dodge. We already had shadow meld. I, I don't know what else we had up there. Oh, I know what it was. Um, first aid, I got Journeyman. I, I I bought the Journeyman. I bought the rank up for first aid. So let's go ahead and put... Oh, Battle Shot rank 2 is already on the spell bar. Okay, great. So now I'm going to cut away, and I'll meet you guys down uh, with our friend Dinalan. All right, so here we are, and one thing I wanted to mention really quickly is we got Shield Bash at level 12, and it's really useful because what it does is it deals... Okay, let me just read it. Bash is a target with your shield for 6 damage, which isn't that much, but the following is what's great about it. It also interrupts spell casting and prevents any spell in that school from be being cast for 6 seconds. So basically, when you're running up against 10 or so of those annoying ass gnarled pine shamans, when they start casting their heal, healing wave or whatever it is they're casting, you'd shield bash in them when they are casting it, and it prevents them from getting the spell off, and it prevents them from casting that spell again for another six mm -hmm. seconds. So we have two quests to turn in here. First is Oak and Scal, uh, turn in the Gargantuan Tumor from him. Turn that in, get the Moss Covered Gauntlets. All right, great, uh, 800 XP, mm -hmm. some reputation towards Darnassus, and then the Glowing Fruit that we picked up. Now thank you, if, if you'll excuse me, I must study this further. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. So let's go ahead and equip those. He goes over here, puts it in his planter, and then I think we can plant it. Actually, we, let's go ahead and equip the bark male leggings because we have not done so yet. Whoa! Some boglo uh, boglings, five of them. Crazy. Go ahead and thunderclap a few of those down. We can loot them, get some goodies from them. And uh, apparently that is it. I want to see if they disappear, if there's something in the planter that we can pick up. But if not, uh, we can definitely use these boggling roots. I used them down below in the Banathil den before it increases our physical damage by one. Which might not seem like an, a lot, but I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. So either that or you can sell them if you feel like that. Okay, no, I don't think there's anything in here. Let's see. Disappear. Disappear. Goodbye. Goodbye, boggling friend. Ten seconds, maybe? Yes? No? He's not He's not going away. He's here to stay, guys. This boggling is here to stay. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, there's nothing here. So, I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to travel over to Gnarl Pine Hold down here in southwestern Teldrassil, and we can go ahead and get that Ursula quest done with. So I'll be right back. Oop, sorry about that, guys. Um, so I made it back here. We had to take uh, down quite a bit of mobs along the way. And I might even use my healing potion. I don't think I have to. Shield bash for the for the kill. Oh, no, it critted. Critted for eight, but it did not kill it. Um, so I, actually, I accidentally started to... Um, engage the battle without recording so I apologize for that but basically 
Uh, once you come to this giant tree in the middle of the hold, uh, just take the path to the right. There's a bunch of mobs that litter the path along here, so I just plowed through these guys. And then Ursal the Mauler is level 12, not too hard to take down. Um, and we can go ahead and run back and turn that in. Uh, but over here, what is something I should point out is there are a bunch of enslaved druid of the talons, but they don't, they don't, none of them have like uh, escort quests or anything. So I don't know if we're gonna have to come back if there's a follow-up quest to free these guys or not. But now that that this quest is done, I'm going to cut away and I'll meet you guys back in Dalinar. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and turn in this what I believe to be the final quest uh, within Tel Jassil. I'm not sure. We will find out when we turn it in. So this, we actually could choose Defender Axe over the Thorn Root Club. Even though we can't use axes now, we can maybe in the future when I go to either Stormwind or Ironforge and learn it from those weapon trainers. But I think for now, I'm going to go with the Thorn Root Club just because I can use it and maybe start training up. And ding! Ding, ding, ding. We have reached level 13. I didn't even realize that. Uh, oh, there's our rested experience. Look at that. It's all the way... We, we had it from like 10 all the way to 13 and a half. Basic, well, 13 and like a quarter. So we've reached level 13, gained 9 hit points, 1 talent point, obviously, 1 strength, 1 agi, 1 spirit, and 1 stamina. Wow. Alright, so now that we have this point, I'm either going to... Let me see. Uh, debate on whether to put it in deflection or improved rend. Let me just see here. My parry chance right now is 4.7%. My dodge is 5.8. And my block is 4.7 as well. I, you know, I think I'm just going to put it in improved rend uh, just for that little bit of DPS boost. Uh, it increases the damage, the bleed damage done by 15% and then 25. And then I think the final is, what would that be, 35? Yeah. So let's see. A little bit of lag. Uh, 32 to 26. I don't know what the damage was before the talent point. But, yeah. Let me pause it really quick. Alright, sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, off screen, also I want to mention really quickly, is I got a new belt. A new um, waist piece that I that was a, a drop after I killed one of those Gnarl Pine. I think I, called one, I killed one of the Avengers, and uh, this dropped. The Blood Spattered Sash of the Whale. So it is a male wet, uh, waist piece, so I got a little lucky there. And it's plus one spirit and plus two stamina. So the plus one spirit's kind of eh, but the plus two stam, that's nice. And it definitely had more armor than my old waist piece. So if we go ahead and equip the Thornroot Club, our DPS 14.2, uh, an increase from 12.5, definitely... I don't know why it says melee tech power 1. I think that's because... Oh, it's based on my weapon skill. So I definitely have to level this... Skill this baby up if I want to use it. Because my mace right now is at 1 out of 65. My swords is actually at 57. So, yeah. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Okay. So that's it for this episode, guys. Um, we are... It looks like... I don't want to... I don't want to assume anything. Because there might be some quests that I haven't done. Uh, as Neo Coaster mentioned in a comment a few episodes ago. There are a bunch of hidden quests littered throughout Teljasil, but I think I picked them all up, and I want to assume that I am finally done, basically 100% with... Let me go over here and... I don't know what... I'm, I'm not going to sell anything. I don't know why I'm doing that. With all the quests here in Teljasil, and what that means is next episode, I will be venturing out into the world i will be leaving my hometown uh we're gonna go to darnassus there is a little right here and this little islandy thing right behind where the bank is there's a little portal that you take down to rutheran village let me see if i can find where it is on the map here no i don't think i can uh so there's rutheran village it's down here somewhere there's a boat it'll take me from here boop, 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 all the way to here in aberdeen and then we can go ahead and start questing in Darkshore. So, exciting times indeed. We are level 13. We just hit 13, so we actually level up twice in one episode. So, that is quite the feat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, as always. And let's see, what else? What, what do I need to talk about? Anything? No, I don't think anything. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I would suggest doing the Relics of Awakening quest with a group. Preferably not two hunters, especially one that's not level 7 because she was 
she was just a hindrance to our progress. She did not really help us at all. Um, really what she did is she aggroed about three or four mobs at a time and I was lucky to have only died I think twice although once was sort of not her fault because she had already left the group by then. But anyway, alas, let me sign off now once once more. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as always. Ooh, nice little nice little night elf booty right there. Uh, as always, this has been Red Sox fan. I hope you guys stay classy and peace out. Thanks for watching.